Hey guys, welcome to another video. So there's been some recent stuff, news, whatever you want to call it, about clutch kickers, and I want to talk about it today. So let's get into it. So some of you may or may not have heard yet, but uh, Freedom Factory released their schedule and Clutch Kickers is not a part of that schedule. So what does that tell us? Um, there's been no official announcement by Clutch Kickers about what's going on for 2023, but we do know that they're not going to be at Freedom Factory, so that's one thing. Um, there's also been some rumors and other things floating around about you know potential other things with Clutch Kickers, but there's been some staff changes um, in in uh, within Clutch Kickers. And so I think the future is uh, uh, uncertain. Uh, some people are saying that, that the organization is done with. They haven't announced that. I don't know that to be the case. But what we do know is that um, going into 2023, we don't have a lot of information um, about what they're going to do. And I, if I were to speculate, I would say that maybe they don't know what they're doing either, which is why they haven't announced it. Um, it would be it would be cool to see clutch kickers kind of branch out and do some other stuff, right? As far as like different tracks, traveling a little bit, maybe, um, having, um, regional series. I don't know. I don't know what they're capable of. Um, the whole thing with clutch kickers all along has been kind of like, is this financially sustainable, right? If they're, if they're constantly paying out and, um, I mean, driver attendance was good, but spectator attendance wasn't great with, uh, at the freedom factory. I don't know if people were paying for the live stream, there's a lot of data that that you know that's probably private. We don't have, but I, I've kind of wondered all along, and I know a lot of people, other people have also wondered whether like they could carry on and sustain. Um, and, I, and we all know that there was no secret that the the Clutch Kickers and Freedom Factory collaboration was basically the only option to keep them operational in 2022, which was great. It worked out really well. The live stream was amazing. Um, Garrett was a great host to have everybody out there. And uh, I felt like it went pretty well, but obviously on the backside, financially, the numbers, it probably wasn't enough to make, uh, to make Freedom Factory happy. And I don't know if it worked out well for, for clutch kickers. So going forward, what do we have, right? We don't know what the schedule's like. We don't know if it's going to be at a different location. We don't know if it's even going to happen. Um, there's a lot of speculation, but like I said, what we do know is that it's not going to be at Freedom Factory and that, um, um, it appears that Clutch Kickers is downsizing. So um, they haven't come out with any official announcement whether they're going to close or whether they're going to do something different. But if I were to guess, if I were to hope, I'm going to say they're going to choose a different location, hopefully in northern Florida, closer to, to their headquarters. Um, it would be nice to see Holt come back. I know that track has been for sale. I don't know if it's been bought or if it's you know, it's a drag strip. I don't know what the what the situation is there, but if they could get a hold of that or even lease it from whoever buys it or owns it right now, that would be awesome because I really did like that facility. Um, or there's also a spot in Pensacola called Five Flag Speedway, which is cl also close to where the Clutch Kickers headquarters is. Um, that would be another cool facility to, to see it run at. And I, I would like to say that's potential. Um, I think Mid Pond is not likely. Uh, that's within a few hours of, of the Clutch Kickers facility, but I don't think it's big enough to actually host anything serious um, with spectators and whatnot. It's a fun track to drive at. The parking lot's really small. There's no way you could fit um, all the people in the paddock there. That would be the issue with that, but that would be a cool one. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I didn't make this video to tell you guys what what is going to happen. I just kind of wanted to speculate and lay out the facts as we know it. A lot of you may not have heard. Um, some of the rumors yet, um, well, not the rumors, but the facts that it's not happening at Freedom Factory and that uh, we don't know what's going to happen. So um, I'd like to hear in the comments if you guys know anything that I don't or if you guys also have any ideas or speculation. Maybe uh, maybe some of the staff from Clutch Kickers will watch this and if, if we have any ideas that we can throw out there to them, um, I don't know if that would be helpful or not, but I really... I, I really want to get behind and support Clutch Kickers. I really appreciate what they've done so far for the for drifting in the United States. And uh, 
I'm down 110% to support them in whatever direction they go. I would really hate to see uh, the organization fall apart or not carry on. Um, it's brought a lot of cool drivers together. It's helped introduce me to people that I didn't know before that are now good friends. And uh, I just don't want to see that go away. So um, here's to another year. I really hope that things work out for Clutch Kickers. And um, like I said, if there's anything that uh, we can do as a community to help Clutch Kickers, please you know, make it public, let people know, because I know there's a lot of people that are down to support the series, just like I am. And we hope to see it in 2023, good things. Um, I'm not gonna talk about in this video what my plans are yet, I'll make a different video about that. This one's specifically about Clutch Kickers. And uh, like I said, what we know and what we can hope for. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Uh -huh.